Hello and welcome to a rebrand. Uh, I don't have the screen behind me anymore because I'm moving, but this is the screen, so just picture it behind me and we'll be good. Yeah? Cool. So today, as you can probably guess from the title, um, we're on about prejudice and therefore discrimination to an extent as well. These have nothing to do with it, they're just, I happened to find them. They were holding up the sheet, in all honesty. But yes, um, so the reason that this is on my mind at the moment is due to at dinner time yesterday, I was with my family and I was like, oh, right, well, hmm, they were saying some odd things and I have many discussions with people and I know people have been prejudiced who have been prejudiced and, uh, well, prejudged and discriminated against in the past, and now they tend to prejudge and discriminate back. Uh, the prime example would be, there's some people who I've known for a long time who have been doing washing up for a long time. I'm not going to name anyone, but yeah. And then other people I know have also known them for a long time. And so I said to one of the people who's known the people who've been doing washing up for a long time, that one of them has gotten worse at it or they just don't care anymore. And I said it as in like, hey, this person has gotten worse at um, washing up recently. And they were like, yes, yeah, because they're old. And then um, I was like, or they just don't care anymore. And they're like, yeah, because they're old. And I know that they have been prejudiced against for being young before, like when they first started working specifically, everyone kept assuming they didn't know what they were doing or anything like that because they were the youngest one there. Now, anything that an old person does that's not, like, great is because they're old. There's no other reason to it. It's just because they're old. I realise that the elderly do get a little bit mm, about some things, but still, it's just not cool. It's not okay. Uh, so, yeah, prejudice breeds prejudice. That's pretty much all I need to say. Um, that's just one example. There are others, but I don't feel like I need to go into them. But on top of that, I would also like to just point out that it leads into hate breeds hate, mistrust breeds mistrust. Um, so, yeah. If you don't trust someone, it's going to be hard to get them to trust you. Unless you're really good at acting. Then, if you are openly aggressive towards a person, they're probably going to be pretty reserved back at best. So, yeah. Anywho, that's all. This is very short rerun, but it's very easy to surmise quite quickly. So, yes. Uh, I will be trying to set up the screen in my room when I move back to uh, my uni house, but we'll see. Regardless, I'll catch you cats on the flip-flop, and please let me know what you think about prejudice breeding prejudice in the comments.